Okay, here we have the ubiquitous grounded metal water pipe issue. The metal water pipe that goes to the street is acting as a another neutral conductor, a current carrying conductor. Nice big fat copper pipe, makes a great conductor. How do we know? Well, we're using um, a, a very trusty clamp meter. Um, this is on our website as well, electrohealth.com. Uh, now it's orange, but uh, same meter, just a little bit newer, and it is now the big orange meter on the website. It used to be big red. So you can see when we clamp around there, we are getting a reading of three around 380 milliamps. So that is 380 milliamps of AC electrical current from the power grid and or neighbors and this house. Um, can be primary and secondary neutral current. Uh, where's that current going? It's not going here because we have a plastic water um, meter and that those are my favorite. These uh, are really easy because then we don't have to do any plumbing. This plastic meter acts as a brake, an electric brake, which is exactly what we need. Um, however, where is the current going? Well, some of it is going here on this uh, ground wire that goes to the electrical system, to the meter, um, up this conduit, and you can see that here. Okay, but there's 260, and here's 360 total, so where's the other 100? Let's check here. And wouldn't you know it, there it is. So, where does that go? That goes to the other side of the pipe here. So you can see that is the bypass that goes to the other side of the pipe. And that's something that we don't want. So, um, we want the house's plumbing, uh, uh, metal plumbing pipes to be grounded. So we will actually leave that connected. Um, but what we don't want is to make a connection with the water company and to the city, to the street, to the neighbors. <laughs> this is the connection we want to eliminate. So um, we will go ahead and eliminate that, which will eliminate this current which is traveling all over the house, everywhere this conduit goes. Apologize to my fingers there. Um, and everywhere these metal water pipes go. Um, some could be headed over here, for instance. Let's see. Do we have any here? Oh, look at that. I'm a psychic. So, yeah, it's going to go anywhere where we have a connection. It's going to go up here. Indeed. So, we're going to eliminate that because, once again, electric current, AC current, should be on wires. And it should be solely on wires. And the power company should update their wiring. Uh, power utility companies need to update their neutral conductors. They need to use larger sized neutrals or additional neutrals, redundant neutrals, like in a five wire system, or use larger neutrals. And they need to upgrade it, they need to check their connections, and they need to get current off of these pipes. And, um, and really cities need to update their code because like uh, newer houses, for instance, that don't even have, have metal water pipes coming to the house, they just rely on ground rods. Um, National Electric Code is, is ground rods. Um, National Electric Code does not require this. So the important thing to understand here is where the water pipe is coming into the house, and that's where we always we always measure right against the wall or floor where it's coming in with a clamp meter. Um, and that's the part that we want to isolate. So as that metal pipe goes out, it comes to our break. Um, if we don't have a plastic meter, then we actually need to cut the pipe. You can see the other videos on that. Cut the pipe and put in a piece of plastic pipe. So this whole piece of metal is connected to the street and is connected to the grid. And so that's what we want to isolate. Um, a lot of electricians and plumbers uh, don't understand this yet. 
And so they think like, oh, yeah, you have to have this connected. You absolutely have to have this connected. So sometimes just to make it easier, we will tape this up and uh, uh, tape it up with uh, many layers of foil. Of, no, I'm sorry, not foil, many layers of um, electrical tape. And, uh, and this as well, um, because we, this is what we need isolated. We can't have anything metal touching this pipe or this point here. So we need to tape this up and tape this up to make sure it doesn't uh, accidentally come uh, make contact. And then we'll kind of put it back and make it look like it's connected even though it's not. And we'll, we'll read a zero there when we're done. Actually, right now we would read a zero since it's unhooked. Um, but we will definitely read a zero again. And I'll just get the meter out, I'll show you here. Okay, okay, so you can see now as we clamp around that, we have a zero. And maybe if I can set the meter, if I can set this up so that you can see what I'm doing, you can see everything that I'm doing, okay? So now you can read the meter and you can see my hand and what happens when I touch this. Okay, current flows. No current. There's the current again. So we have to make sure that this does not touch the pipe, this grounding strap here, nor the fitting. And that's an easy fix. Okay. So you can see we've gone around here with lots of electrical tape, many layers, and same thing with the grounding strap here, covering the tip, covering everything. And so the next thing we'll do is we'll just tape these down in place here um, to give them the illusion of being connected. And the only reason why we do that is we don't ever want some electrician or plumber to come here and see that it's disconnected and say, oh, we better connect that because, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Once again, not understanding that current is going everywhere and causing a major problem in major magnetic fields. And it is completely unnecessary, not required by National Electric Code. And um, this is an, an outdated practice that um, it, it would be okay to use the water pipe as a ground if there were an isolation out on the street. And uh, some areas do this, but most areas don't. So most areas have metal water pipe on the street, metal water pipe going to the house. There's no isolation there. So if you don't have an isolation on the street, which you can, um, chances are extremely high probability that you do not have isolation on the street, um, but you can always measure. And um, in this case, you want to uh, isolate inside your house. Okay, all done. I put a little self-fusing uh, black tape over. Um, totally not necessary. It's just uh, the only black tape that I had right now. So I put some of that over. Um, normally I just use all black electrical tape. Um, so now we have a kind of a um, illusory connection there. Uh, we don't do not actually have a, an electrical connection under here. Um, but uh, it is protected by the tape and no one's going to dig through that to check. And now on the clamp meter, I'll turn this guy on. You can see, so we always measure right where the pipe comes in. And you can see we have no measurable current. 0, 0.00 milliamps. Um, so nothing measurable there. The tape did the trick. And you can see it's uh, it's nice and secure. It doesn't even doesn't even move or wiggle. Um, and that is uh, a great way to do it. That solves the problem. Um, we were able to do that without any plumbing, since we had this uh, very nice and convenient plastic water meter. Those are my favorite. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. Please uh, like and comment and uh, I can definitely answer questions for you.